Most people in life are familiar with the standard ways in which we introduce ourselves. We might be in a group setting where everybody says, let's go around the room and introduce yourself. And there's a standard formula that the leader of that opportunity of social uh, networking will say, this is what I'd like you to tell people about you. These are the three or four items for you to talk about. Remember, each of us only have about 60 seconds to cover this, and then we've got to get onto the topic at hand. It just helps to remind people of your name, and it helps people like me to do the same. What I can tell you is that the introductions in America often happen impromptu. We begin a casual conversation with a ch total stranger, which is usually how that's done, and then in the course of the moment of time, God might say, introduce yourself. And you do. You give out your name. You might give out your business card. You might ask for a business card if it's appropriate at that moment of time. In life, we have moments of time to see who we are, but at that moment of time of introduction, the thing you must automatically understand and not take as assumption is that the receiving of someone's name is not the automatic permission to use their name or pass their name along to anyone else. You see, you earn the name over the course of that conversation or possibly over the course of time and relationship. You do not have the right to utilize that person's name for any negative record in your company or in the community 